Hey all, Ryan here from Planetary Lavatory, and welcome to another episode of Slab and Sundays, where I take rocks and fossils I find on the western shore of Lake Michigan, cut them into slabs so I can use those slabs for cabochons and jewelry and other things. So this week, the two we have, we have this one here, which is like a mudstone conglomerate almost, but it's got some granitoid right here. All this white, which might be calcite, might be quartz. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get some slabs this way, as many as I can, and try to get some like little hanging, like little hanging artwork slabs out of it, because it'll have a nice shape, like a nice round shape to them already. So I'm going to try to get, I don't know, at least three, maybe four if I can, out of that guy. And then this one is not from the western shore of Lake Michigan. This is another rock I got up on my, um, I take a fishing trip every spring and every fall up in Tipler, Wisconsin. That's almost at the Michigan border. And I actually picked this one out of a pile. And it's just got some craziness going on. I'm thinking maybe moss agate. If not, it might be a crazy jasper or something. But I'm not sure. But I'm going to go this way, I think. And I'm going to cut that off. And then I'm going to try to get as many slabs as I can out of, out of it this way. Um, just to see if I can get something crazy in there. But we'll see. Because I don't know. But it does look crazy right there. That's why I want to go this way. I want to catch that. But So we're going to use the 10 inch thick centered blade on our saw today. Just so I can get some nice, straight, good slabs out of these. So let's get her set up. And we'll start slabbing. Okay, so we're through that first one. I just got three for now, just making sure that it's cool inside of here, and I might actually cut it open the other way for some standing stones. But let's see what we got. Ooh, so there's the end. So some of that red came through. Not a ton, but some of it did. All right, so first slab, got three nice little slabs. Ooh, that's cool. So it probably is just some sort of granitoid with a lot of quartz and a lot of maybe some jasper in there. Really cool though. Got some black paint on there. Yeah, really cool patterning. So I'll be able to get some nice hanging pieces out of that. So that was the first slab. Second slab. Ooh, that's kind of cool right there. A little kind of brushiated look. Yeah, really cool. Just quartz throughout the whole thing. Nice white and red contrast, another nice slab. And then we got another slab here. Yeah, that red came through, a little bit more wispiness on there. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, those are cool. And then here's the other end. So I might actually try to get maybe one more off of there, um, but we'll probably do that in the future. So let's get on to that possible agate. Okay, so that one kind of gave me a little bit of trouble, but let's see what we got. Ooh, look at that. Let me get him wet, a little more wet here. All right, now let's see. Ooh, look at all that yellow in there and quartz and red. Not 100% sure that's just the end. First slab, oh, look at that. Yeah, I don't know what that is, if that's some like mossy agate stuff, or if it's just jasper, or it could really just be anything, I guess. Really cool, though, with all that yellow in there. So that's the first slab, nice slab. Second slab. Oh, it's got some calcite stuff coming up in there. 
Maybe a little fracture in that one. Another nice little slab. A lot of yellow and red though. That is really cool. Ooh, look at that. Sweet yellow patterning in there. So I'll be able to get some good stuff out of these. So then here's the third one. This one gave me a little bit of trouble. You saw me having to clean up that bad cut there because it kind of got away from me, but really cool. Kind of cleared up there in the middle with the yellow. So I'm glad I got those other two slabs anyways. Then here's the end. Yeah, no real agate stuff, I don't think. I think it might just be like a, a jasper, you know, jasper and quartz, just all kind of together. Really cool looking though, so definitely two for two. Um, so if you like this video, leave a like, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for some close-ups at the end, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.